he who works his land will have abundance. If yeah. you choose fantasies, you lack wisdom. You talk about Oprah working her land. You talk about yourself. I mean, we're going to talk about your book, Working Your Land. Those Easter eggs are very symbolic, I believe, of working your land where everybody's trying to rush to get that iPad or that Xbox or that fame or that success. They're not plowing their land, they're plowing through other people. So number one, thanks for showing my book and reading my book. But here's what I think, and this is what I think everybody watching will relate to. And you're my friend for life. Likewise. But, but here's what happens is that a soar, S-O-A-R to soar like an eagle, okay? Yeah. They wanna be the highest in the room. Right. And so when they think of Jeff Bezos, when they think of Richard Branson, when they think of in basketball, what Kobe Bryant did with the Mamba mentality, or the Michael Jordans, when they think about the rappers like a Kanye or a Jay-Z, people wanna be the highest in the room. They wanna S-O-A-R, they wanna soar, okay? Mm -hmm. Even when I talk to TikTokers, they wanna soar. People who are YouTubers, they wanna S-O-A-R, soar. Now. That's all very important, what I just said. Mm -hmm. But before you soar at anything, you have to sit and learn. Then you have to stand in what you've learned. Then you have to walk out the principles of what you are, have learned and what you're learning. Then, if you're fortunate, you get to the place of running. Running is a place of passion. I believe that most people have never even come to the running stage in their dream or in their profession, okay? They're sitting and they're just thinking about it and dreaming about it and calling it in and manifesting it, but they're just sitting. Mm -hmm. You gotta assert and to get educated, sit. You gotta stand in what you've learned. You gotta walk it out. The walking it out is working your land. Working your land is plowing the ground, planting the seed, as you said, watering the seed, which is repetition. Then you will reap the harvest. So sit stand, walk. The walking, as you begin to walk, you'll gain energy in what you're doing and it'll take you to a place of running, passion, which you have had in your life and you have in your life. But the beautiful thing about life is you could just be running and the next thing you know, a gust of wind will hit you and boom, propel you and you're soaring. Most people that soar in a major way that I know, they said, Tim, I didn't see it coming. I knew I would do well, which is like running, but I didn't know I'd do this well. So we're chasing the soar when we should be cooperating with the sit, the stand, the walk, and the run.